Hello there and welcome to Mr Ridley's Design and Technology. In this clip we're looking at example responses of the GCSE Design and Technology NEA coursework. This is sheet 2, so we're looking at sheet 2 now and we're looking at three different um, examples provided by the exam board. Um, this is for AQA but I think the others are broadly similar and this, the second sheet is looking at is the client interview and identifying and investigating design possibilities so from the last sheet sheet one where we looked at a a overview of the subject now we're looking at we're, we're um, identifying our client and it's very important to have a client for this and we're looking at as this sheet says here client um needs and wants so um, this sheet can be called client interview we'll call this sheet client interview um, so the mark scheme here is very clear in the um, one mark band it says um, an attempt has been made to identify user client but not relevant to the contextual challenge student has undertaken basic investigation of their needs and wants but given little explanation and justification of these so obviously justifying um, and we'll look at that in the next sheet perhaps um, <clears throat> in the higher and the highest band 10 a user client has been clearly identified and is entirely relevant in all aspects to the contextual challenge the student has undertaken a com comprehensive investigation of their needs and wants and a clear e explanation and <clears throat> all aspects of these uh, sorry <clears throat> with a clear expan explanation and justification so what we're looking at is we're having so if we look at this sheet here and we've got a client interview here um, this student has said the client is my dad he's interested so this one is for the sustainable future and this is looking I think at a, the, the product is going to be a caddy that holds kind of vegetables what we've got here is uh, uh, just some small images but they've had they've, they've added a tape measure in there and they're showing the position in the kitchen um, where this um, waste food caddy is going to go. So they've already uh, uh, um, asked my client about the preferred shape and say the rectangle. They've looked even at sizes. So quite quickly they're moving towards things that are going to go in their specification. What I like here is they've added a conclusion saying the client is my dad. He's chose the compost bin over a bat feeder. So he's obviously gone for a list of things. Um, <clears throat> So which of the following products would you most likely to invest in and why? A garden, solar light, bat feeder, water, a feeder by day, a bat feeder by night, um, an indoor herb, so, so, and a compost bin. So you can see there's key question, uh, sorry, question and answer. So the question there gave the client a, a load of products that were in, in that, um, that were relevant, and the client's chosen one of those. <clears throat> And also given a justification there why um, wants in, want, would like one. They've listed there the location visit, so where, where it's going to go, and they've just contextualised. And they, then down here it says about, if you can see that, it says about key features of the product. So key features of this product would be a bin, preventing smell. So already we're moving towards writing a specification because we've identified, clearly identified, the needs of the user. Um, if we look at this one, we can see here we've got some um, product location. But say it doesn't have dimensions and things like that, but it does give a good um, indication of where the things go. Uh, <coughs> This one I think is for children. Is it about children's toys? So we've got the um, client interview here. Um, we've got oh, we have got a little um, bit of um, ergonomics and anthropometrics about maybe sizes. So that's just put in there. I don't think this is, says something about fine motor skills here. Um, yeah. So th that's it. I, I'm just saying there isn't really a clear. There's a description of the client there. And lastly, this one, which I don't think is laid out so well. I think, again, I, I, I prefer the, the blue one, but that's entirely to you. This dark colour, um, I don't think works so well. Um, but what's good about this one, in, in yellow here, he said, after speaking to client, I conclude the most prevalent issue of environmental sustainable emissions. So, so there is the, um, the conclusion there. So we've got um, the questions here. 
what your biggest on just hold that up so you can see the questions there that this this um, person has used there's the questions and there is their um, there is their um, conclusion so they've come to a clear conclusion they have got some images there um, they look a little bit like suspicious I, I, I prefer I think these images and this one so this is sheet two which is um, a client interview analyzing the clients wants and needs okay thank you for watching Mr Ridley's design and technology